Hi friends, I wanted to finish Over and Under the Snow. And do you know, I only have one small little piece of snow left in my backyard. So just in the nick of time. The Subnivian world is pretty much gone at this point. But bullfrogs hibernate buried in the mud at the bottom of ponds and marshes in the wintertime. Did you know that you can tell the difference between a male bullfrog and a female bullfrog by the size of their tympanum? What the heck is a tympanum? That's a fancy word for ear. I did not know that. On a male bullfrog, a boy bullfrog, the ear is about twice the size of the eye, while a female bullfrog, a girl bullfrog's ear, is about the same size as her eye. Beavers don't hibernate in winter, but they're less active, so they don't need as much food. Whole families spend the coldest months huddled together inside their frozen lodges. Before winter sets in, beavers pile branches and twigs at the bottom of the pond, not far from the entrance to the lodge. That serves as their winter food supply, and they'll dive down under the ice when it's time to eat. Red foxes often eat small mammals like mice, voles, and shrews, but finding those animals can be challenging in winter. The red fox has an excellent sense of hearing though and will actually listen for the sounds of animals like mice under the snow. When a fox hears a mouse, it will pounce, often with all four feet on one spot to collapse the snow and trap the mouse underneath. Then it will dig until it finds its dinner. Chipmunks dig burrows in the earth and live there under the snow in the wintertime. A chipmunk's home often has different chambers, one for sleeping, one for storing food, and several tunnels for exiting and entering the burrow. Kind of like houses, uh, kind of like, yes, kind of like houses, but I meant to say kind of like rooms in houses and hallways. Black bears sleep most of the winter, hibernate. Before they go to sleep, they gorge themselves on food. That means they eat lots and lots and lots of foods like fish and berries. So they'll have enough energy to last until spring. Their dens might be in hollowed out trees, under logs or rocks, or in caves. And the last animal is bumblebees. They don't survive all winter in cold climates. In fact, males and worker bees die in the fall, leaving only fertilized queen bees alive. The queen bumblebees hibernate in the soil or under a layer of leaves. They can even produce their own antifreeze to keep from freezing if temperatures drop too low. Another interesting fact I had no idea about. When the queen emerges in spring, she'll find a cool, dark place to nest, often an abandoned mouse den, and lay her eggs to start a new colony. Thank you for listening, and I will see you soon with another book. Bye.